What is going on lads? Jack here and welcome to episode 83 of The Road to Glory, hit with FC United of Manchester. Hopefully you guys are good. Last episode and the episode before we played Barcelona in the Champions League. Uh, this episode I'm going to be covering the results since that Champions League tie, as well as casting an eye forward to today's game, which is against Tottenham Hotspur in the League Cup. So, first things first, quick look at the fixtures for you guys. Uh, since the Barcelona game, uh, our league form hasn't been great, and we actually got our first loss in like, I think it's almost 20 games, it was our first league loss against Reading, but we'll come on to that in a second. First things first, first result of this kind of sequence, 2-0 win against Tottenham Hotspur, really good result. We were the better team throughout, at least in my opinion. We played really well, and again, the whole team is really gelling now, and I'm starting to kind of fiddle with teams, and I have a really solid core of players who I'm more than happy to rotate. The problem with this rotation is that, um, despite all my best efforts when it comes to rotating the squad, I still don't have the squad, de squad depth I really wish I did. You know, It would really help out, and you'll certainly see here, I mean, in our last four games, we've not got a win. Um... Just fitness really catching up on players and, lack, and the lack of it has been a problem. Uh, we got a 0-0 draw against Southampton. Fairly standard stuff, 50-50 game. Uh, and following that up, second 0-0 draw in a row, which was against Sunderland. Probably a little bit lucky to even be in contention this game, but you can really see how the squad was struggling for fitness. A lot of players around the 70 condition mark, which isn't very good, uh, coming towards the end of the game. On the back of this, we got our first defeat in a long time, as I mentioned. This game, we were 3-1 down after 10 minutes. And we, in fact, it was 1-1 after 3 minutes. It was a crazy first 10 minutes to the game. Uh, and we didn't really recover, if I'm honest. I mean, perhaps we should have got a point from the game. Uh, Josimar had a really poor game in goal. And that was really what cost us in the end, you know. Reading were very clinical. Um, we, we just we didn't turn up, ultimately. And that was really what happened. And since then, uh, the last game in this kind of sequence was against um, Galatasaray in the Champions League uh, Group D. Uh, a really good, important point for us against Galatasaray away. Uh, we came back from 1-0 down to grab a point in the 86th minute. Barboza grabbing the goal for us. He's been absolutely massive again for us, Barboza. Really developing as a player, like, unbelievably so now. Um... I still have really high hopes for this guy. He's become kind of Brazil's regular first team forward as well, which is good to see. Uh, Reginaldo, of course, the other Brazilian forward, is coming in in January. I talked a little bit about him last episode. And I'm really looking forward to kind of, I guess, polishing off this entire team now. Because as I've said, you know, we don't quite have the strength in depth yet, I would like. But we have, like, the cause of a, a team that should win the league in a few years. Uh, so what those results in the league do for a, a kind of our league position is as follows. We've kind of lost the cushion that we did have in the league. Uh, we, we, we had a flight four or five points gap, uh, really been closed down with the kind of past three results which we've struggled in against a weak opposition, which is disappointing to see. And in our last six games of kind of, I guess, up until the halfway mark of the season before you start playing teams for a second time. We've still got to play Chelsea, Man U and Liverpool and they're going to be games that we really have to win against teams around us. I'm not sure how I'm going to commentate those games. Um, it might be that I do the Juve and Chelsea games next episode and then the Man U and Liverpool game the following episode. Um, you know, let, let me know what you think there, guys. Uh, but anyway, uh, on the squad front, everyone's performing really well. Uh, a little bit of injury news to tell you about. People are starting to get fit now, but Moyano's got back from injury. Semper's now back, although he's not match fit, so I'm not going to be playing him today. Although I am going to, I'm going to plonk him on the bench, and maybe he'll come on and do something for us. Uh, same with Moyano; he's now on his way back from his injury, which is good to see. Uh, Zorak is playing really well. Um, you know, he he's had a good little start this season. He hasn't played loads of games, and obviously I paid £7 million for him. He was a little bit of a spur-of-the-moment signing, and I've been trying to find a club player for the, uh, a club for this guy to go on loan to. Uh, not had any success yet, but I don't know. He's got five-star potential, according to my assistant, so who knows? He might stick around for a while yet. But no, uh, squad is looking really strong. Uh, Courtois has been a little bit disappointing this year. He's not been the first choice kind of... Uh, midfielder this year and Ike has really taken that spotlight from him even though he's rated a worse player and Ike has just performed pretty well I mean he came in for 2.4 million pounds and he's done the job for us um, 
actually looking at it, I am going to have to start with Semper just because I don't have an anchor man. Uh, Garfield Thompson is away on international duty, uh, and Hamuche is out injured, and they're my two kind of backup rotation defensive midfielders. Uh, it's certainly been an area of the squad that's been suffering, has been the kind of defensive midfield area. I actually had um, Semper, uh, Garfield Thompson, and Hamuche all out at the same time, which hurt us a lot. But anyway, let's get straight into today's game. We are playing Spurs, as I've already said. Uh, Going to be playing our standard 4-3-3 formation. Hopefully we can put in a good little shift here. Uh, this is the quarterfinals of the League Cup. We beat Spurs when we met them in the league earlier on this season, 2-0. Uh, hopefully the players can just you know, do the exact same again here. And I, I have faith on them, uh, kind of in them to do so. Um... Well, well, we'll see how we get on. Obviously, last four games have been pretty disappointing, all in all. Um, and I, I want to see the team bounce back. You know, a few players have come back from injury. Obviously, Sampa is struggling for fitness, and so and I've got to keep an eye on this game. But the squad, all in all, we've had a little bit of a break. Players have got their legs back, and I'm just hoping we can turn up today when it matters. And, you know, try and push for some domestic cup glory, because that's what I'm looking to achieve this year. I said that at the start of the season, you know. I'd like to qualify for the Champions League again. Uh, you know, reach the knockout stage of the Champions League would be good, but have some domestic glory as well, either in the champ uh, in the what do you call it, either in the FA Cup or the League Cup. Um, I mean, we've not really ever gone on a cup run on this save, so it'd be nice to see. And as I say, that Spurs grab a goal after 20 minutes. This is not looking good. Uh, disappointing start by the players. 20 minutes in, Spurs obviously a goal up now. Um, too much room for them on the left-hand side. Cruz able to get the ball in. Pablo just not challenging in the air. And the keeper caught out of position, which is, I don't know, tough to take. I might have to look to change the system a little bit here. Apparently, we're giving up too many chances defending set pieces. Um, so maybe I have to focus on my set piece training a little bit more. Although, to be fair, our back four is a hot... Wow, don't... Oh, God. Wow. I was about to say, as a whole, our back four's really kind of gelled now, obviously. Glenn Stewart, Pablo, uh, Benitez and Farri as the back four, you know, been solid there for a few years. But that's really poor play, like unbelievably poor by our players. Um, just just totally neglecting the ball in the centre. Poor back pass. Newland easily, easily able to get the goal, uh, ball into the back of the net. And Tottenham are on the attack again. Wow. 3-0. I'm changing the system now. But it's a case of what do I change. Um, let's have a look at opposition tactics. Well, they go. They're going just with a four-four-two. It would seem. Oh, I've got to think here. I've got to think. Hmm. I think I'm just going to go more attacking, but we'll hold back our mid uh, our defenders a little bit more. Got to go more attacking, and we need to be a lot more direct with the ball. Just got to get the ball forward, I guess. We are away from home, so it's not going to be easy. And Jekko's now injured. Um, well, th this is not what I was intending to do this episode. <laughs> um, and I've now all my tactics reset that I just did. Oh, uh, I need to think. Okay, they've all saved, which is good. I'm thinking here. We need to be just more direct as a whole. Um, I want to cut out the playmaker. Um, we'll push up the defensive line a bit. And we're, we're going to need a miracle. We are going to need just something amazing to come off here. 3 0 down is oh, just, just poor. Very poor. Uh, I'm, I'm throwing a kind of, I guess, throwing my hand. What's the term? Throwing, having a roll of the dice here. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Um, but, you know, I need to throw men forward. It's the knockout stages, ultimately. We've got to go for the win. Or at least to score three goals in a second half away, which is going to be hard. But who knows? You know, we could end up conceding a lot more, but it's one of these things where I've got to take a calculated risk and really change our game plan. We've got a chance, though, and Bokel has scored for us there. So 3 1, a minute and a half in, maybe stating our intentions a little. Looking at the stats, it's not that Tottenham have been by far the better side. They've just been far more clinical in their chances, and that's something that we need to do going into the second half. Obviously, the addition of Moyano uh, down the left hand side has just come up trumps there obviously Checo going off injured uh, but we are going to need to kind of throw on uh, more attacking players the later that we get into this game and uh, 28 minutes we need two goals 
what to do. I'm going to chuck on a EK for Semper. Semper's struggling for fitness, and Courtois and an EK can push up. Both players are also centre, kind of centre mid, centre attacking mid players, so they can push up as well. I really just need to throw men forward now. And it's going to be a case of hoofing it up and hoping we maybe get a little bit lucky going into these last 10 minutes. I can't see it happening though, which is really disappointing to see. I mean, looking at the stats, it has been a 50-50 game. We've just not created enough clinical clear-cut chances. And, oh, I'm a bit annoyed because I really wanted to win a cup this year. And we kind of put all our eggs into one basket, I suppose, with the FA Cup. Um, we'll go with you, we're unlucky. Uh, disappointing. I mean, going away to Tottenham is never going to be easy, and they really turned up uh, on the day, to be honest. They came out the traps, three goals in 16 minutes for them, and from then it was always going to be an uphill battle. Uh, I forgot to mention, actually, and show you the Champions League table on the back of the 1 1 draw against Galatasaray. Obviously, the last game is against Juventus, which is going to be tough for us. I mean, looking at how the league stands. Uh, obviously Galatasaray and Barcelona meet on the last game of the season we meet Juve I think a point will be enough for us just based off goal difference alone unless one of the teams is going to win 5-0 uh, so we, we really just need a draw in that game against Juve and then we've got to look at other results I mean ultimately you'd like to see us go out and get a win I think we're at home to Juve indeed we are so a game that I feel like we could win especially since we drew up against them away from home and then obviously there's the Chelsea game and the Manchester United and Liverpool games to look forward to as well. Ah, oh, I don't know. Um, that's, that's disappointing. I'm sure. I'm sure you guys can feel my pain there. It's a little bit disappointing, but got to look at the league now. We need to up our form. In fact, I'm going to do a team meeting now if I can do one. Talk to squad. Oh, we've had a bit of a blip, but it's important now that we come together. Uh, this is this is not that's not a great kind of team talk thing, but a little bit of positivity. Who knows? It might make a difference. Um, this disappointed. Uh, that's the general mood here. I was very optimistic at the start of the season, and I mean we have to be realistic. We're still top of the league, but we're, we're losing ground, and we are on just such a poor run of form. It's going to be essential that we can kind of boost that maybe maybe the Champions League and the home game against Juventus offers us a chance to really bounce back uh, going to be an interesting one I suppose uh, guys thank you for watching as always Pentagon Challenge will be up tomorrow uh, by the way I am looking to bring out some more Football Manager Tips and Tricks series so maybe if you've got any ideas for what you'd like to know leave it down in the description it's also a good way for me to know if you've watched till the end of the video as always if you've enjoyed it Cheeky like, let's see if we can get 25 likes, that's not a big ask, but to be honest, I'm, I'm in a glum mood, anything's going to make me happy, uh, but no, really appreciate it as always guys, thank you for your support on my channel, I think I hit like 1,250 subs this weekend as well, which was awesome, so big ups to you, if you're new around here, hopefully you stick around and enjoy the content, and other than that guys, it's me Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit, I'm out.